What you got there? Oh, I got ourselves a little small mouth. He was just chilling out on that bed and just boom, just canning that bait. And we reap the reward. There he is. That's a big chungus. <laughs> big chungus is right. What is up guys? My name is Tyler Anderson and welcome back to my channel. As always, I want to make you guys better bass anglers by watching this video and of course helping you uh, learn something as well. And yeah, Colton. You can, you can be like me. You can be like Colton. And today we're going to talk about a special thing called the flogger. I use this thing every single year when I go up to New York, and I know that it's not just a spawn thing. A lot of pros use it at multiple times of the year to see in super clear water how big the fish are down in those schools. And this is it right here. This is literally a cone that is used for bass fishing. Let's talk about it. So this thing right here is a flogger. They cost, I believe, $125 on Tackle Warehouse. I'll have them linked below. And it's something I use every single year that helps me catch some giant smallmouth bass up here in New York. This video is gonna be a compilation of me and Colton flogging for each other, which is what y'all will see in this video. It is, uh, it is not vlogging, you are flogging, F-L. And that's the name of this thing. It is literally just a, uh, a, a shortened cheerleader's cone that you yell into as a cheerleader. <laughs> and it's got a plexiglass end on the end, and so when you stick it down in the water, as you'll see here in the shot, you'll see that it completely eliminates any sort of waves or glare off the water and lets you see perfectly down in that crystal clear water and of course helps you catch more bass. And so we're gonna show you guys tons of fish catches using this flogger. My dad and I actually spray painted the outside of it black because it's mostly orange. Why they make it orange? I don't know. They should sell a camo one or a blue one or something. But we have uh, we spray painted it black, left the uh, the handles orange. And if you guys saw, I went tumbling in the water right here. In the attempt to save the plastic piece off this flogger, which we have now sent super glued. So if you guys want to see that video, crazy cool video. I fell in. We caught some big smallmouth. I'll have it linked below. End up in this corner. But uh, I say we get to the fish catches, and we'll see you all at the end. I know. I can't exactly tell where the bed's at. Right here. Okay, I'm dropping down. Where am I at? Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, he ate you. He ate you. Whoa! <laughs> oh, straight, straight up. up in the air. Let's go. On the bottom too. That's awesome. He bit you and just went awalled <laughs> up north. Oh, yeah. He's not huge, but you know what? That was fun. Thank you, buddy. That was easy. Well, that that was went, an easy flogger. He went way off his bed. So as y'all can probably see, it's a little bit ripply here. That fish was only in about eight foot of water, so the bed wasn't that hard to see, but I, I could not see if the fish was there or not, and I sure as I couldn't see if it ate. So that's where having the flogger is helpful. I love how hard these guys fight. Hello? Oh. Muscular little oh. Makes your arm hurt right there. A little bit of, little bit of tense arm. Gee, gosh. I'm gonna flip him. Oh no! Thank you. <laughs> there you go. We got him! Ugh. On the drop shot. It's just, it's amazing how like a smallmouth of this size, every other place in the country, I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's a nice one. And here you're like, eh, two pounder, whatever. Thank you, buddy, for playing. All right, thank you, buddy. Have a good life. Yeah. Good, there it goes. Fish, and he ate it. Oh, oh you lose him? Yeah. What happened there? I didn't have time to uh, <laughs> uh, set my bail. Oh, no. He ate it real quick. Where'd you go? Ready? Yep. Drop. Dropping in, there it goes, right in the middle. Hop it, hop it, and he, oh, he, uh, you got the weight, you got the weight. Hop it again. Dude, he's all about that weight. He's literally attacking the weight. Oh, uh, here he, he sees it now. Hop it. Let it sink, let it sink. Hop it. Oh, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. Do a recast. Was I on it? No, nah, he's not facing the other way. He's facing away from it? Yeah. Pop it. He ate it. Oh, dang it. 
He's eating so fast. Oh, he ate the tail off. That's okay. Yeah, go back in. Look at that. Right over the bed. Here it goes, going down. And let it sink. Hop it. Got it. Nice. Nice. Gorgeous. Nice. It's a gorgeous fish. Let's go right there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull the flogger up. Well done, Colton. I'll net this guy. Let's get the fish for you, buddy. Oh, that's a, that's a chunker. Textbook three and a half pounder. Yeah, nice. Boom, and just like that, flogger strikes again. Let's go get us another one. Tell us what you did there. Well, I uh, just tossed up right on top of the what was it, the bed right there, and uh, Tyler was able to tell me where exactly to put my lure so that the, the fish would just chunk it, and that's exactly what happened. And we got ourselves a, a good looking fish. <laughs> Look at that. Can't get the lure out. Is he right in the middle? Alrighty. We are hopping down. There we go. Yes. That might be a big one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Oh, no. Oh, gee. My bait's gone. All right, I'm going to land this guy. Dude, he's bigger than I thought he was. He's at least a three. Um, yep, you're good. Yes. Dude, he might go four. Look at this thing. Look at this fish, Colton. Wow. That's a chunk. Look at that. Y'all, look at that outcast head Ooh. down his throat. Down his throat. Oh, that's how you want to see him hooked right there. Yeah, that is a big boy. I don't think he'll quite go four, but we're going to get him on. I'm calling three nine, three eight. Yeah, I'm going to go three eight. Oh, uh, three point seven four. <laughs> three and three quarter pounds with my buddy Colton. Thanks for flogging. Yeah. Heck yeah. Flogger works, man. Beautiful fish. Let's get a picture real quick, just cause. Staying alive well for one minute, get a picture, and then we'll be done. Well, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed all those flogger fish catches. Stay tuned. We got tons more big, small mouth, and large mouth for you. But folks that are down south, subscribe to the channel. I have not forgot about you. We've got some summer large mouth fishing coming, including dock skipping, fishing around grass, and frog fishing. Make sure y'all are subscribed, and we'll see y'all next time on TRF.